Hi, my name is Michelle Gavat, and I am the Community Impact Director on Long Island and Westchester for the American Heart Association. The mission of the American Heart Association is to be a relentless force for a world of longer, healthier lives. Every person deserves the opportunity for a full, healthy life. As champions for health equity, by 2024, the American Heart Association will advance cardiovascular health for all, including identifying and removing barriers to healthcare access and quality. Self-monitoring blood pressure is the first step to engage community members where they are, in their local communities, where they are given information in a trustworthy voice. All of you who are going to participate in this program are bringing important information to those around you and may possibly influence the health outcome of your constituents. Your knowledge of this initiative is supplemental to the clinical follow-up that has been established in each of your locations. Your role is to refer your patrons to help to get the help that they may need or require. It is not your role to diagnose or give, give clinical advice to your patrons. Perhaps this information that you receive today will help you personally as well. In case you've never seen one of these, this is the device that you is going to be used in the self-monitoring blood pressure program. Each of your facilities have been given these. Simple to use and easy to demonstrate. Each of your facilities should also have cataloged these devices. Along with the blood pressure device, handouts will also include the loaner agreement, the manage your blood pressure at home packet, an additional booklet for self-monitoring blood pressure recording logs, and learn how to measure your blood pressure, and a flyer from one of your local FQHCs or, home or healthcare organizations locally to ensure clinical follow-up. You will also receive the loaner program agreement that, that we have used in other organizations to self-monitor for the blood pressure initiatives. You may want to alter this to meet the needs of your facility. You should have all received a manage your health at home packet that are in English and in Spanish. We will, review the we will review this on the following slides. I would suggest that you make yourselves very familiar with this packet because this is what's going to be how you interact with the patrons that are going to participate in the program. If you should have any additional information or suggestions, to be added to this packet or taken away from this packet, please let us know. You are the ones who are public facing. You are the feet on the ground. It will be your experience connecting you with the public that will enhance this initiative and make it work and be successful. We have provided some resources that the patron may need. Please remember that this packet goes home with each patron and everyone who participates in this initiative. Again, if you think that additional information should be added, you can also customize handouts to meet the needs of your community, perhaps local food pantries, et cetera. Anything that you think may localize and meet the patrons where they are. Now we're getting to the nitty gritty of the training. This slide is probably one of the most important of all. It demonstrates the steps that are needed to get an accurate blood pressure reading. Do not smoke. Exercise, drink, drink alcohol or coffee within 30 minutes of measuring blood pressure. Rest in a chair before you take blood pressure. You should be relaxed. Your feet should be on the ground, being supported and not dangling in the air. Rest in the chair before. Your arms should be resting on a flat surface. Arms should be at heart level. No talking. Your bladder should be empty. All of these factors impact an accurate reading. These are the consequences of high blood pressure. High blood pressure is considered to be the silent killer. And why should it be controlled? A simple blood pressure check is the first step in preventing a domino effect on your body. It's the body's barometer. So easy to take. And once it's determined what the measurement is, a treatment protocol will be established with a clinician. High blood pressure left untreated has all of these consequences. This slide shows the ranges of high to low blood pressure. The American Heart Association 
has within the past two years lowered the normal range to below 120 over 80, the green area. Below that graph, below on that graph is yellow, warning to get a doctor, orange and red that you're in trouble. It's important to take blood pressure readings twice a day. The average of the systolic and the average of the diastolic numbers are what's used for measurements. This slide, easy to share, easy to, easy to share, not easy to do. These are the steps that can be taken to reduce blood pressure. And it's important to, to follow this. Decre decrease your salt intake. Weight reduction. Know what your weight is. Know what your normal range should be. Your diet should be rich in fruits and vegetables. Get physical activity and moderate your alcohol intake. Here we have um, what each of the patrons will be given and that it's part of the packet. It's blood pressure tracker, which is really very important in this whole self-monitoring blood pressure initiative. It's, it, it will be for a few weeks, suggested that blood pressure be taken um, twice a day for, one, uh, for about a month. This will increase the chance that regular blood pressure readings will become a habit and the patient will have a better understanding of what their daily routine may be in order to have their blood pressure controlled. Another example of what we can do to help control or lower blood pressure has been included in this packet. These questions can guide a conversation with the patient's doctor. Many times people are unprepared for the clinical visit. A more educated patient is what we're aiming towards. Again, given a month of readings, we're hoping for better health outcomes with more people engaged in their health. Do you know what un that untreated blood pressure can cause a stroke? Do you know the warning signs of a stroke? Very easy to remember, fast. Face drooping, arm weakness, speech difficulty, and time to call 911. The message on the slide is so important is to call 911. Time is of the essence. It's a matter of recovery or debilitation. Advanced treatment has helped many who have suffered strokes avoid lasting effects when treated promptly. Call 911. Do not drive yourself to the hospital. Call 911. We are what we eat. We know that. So important to increase the consumption of fruits and vegetables, to eat less meat, Food and nutritional security and insecurity have increased during COVID. I'm sure that many of your organizations also provide distribution, food distribution at your locations. Why not work with a food pantry to help promote healthy eating habits? The salty six, did you know about these things? We, we all run on the run trying to eat whatever we can. These are items to avoid. Increased salt intake increases blood pressure. These items are what you should avoid if your blood pressure is high and to avoid having high blood pressure. Physical activity, again, so necessary to, in order to regulate your blood pressure. Exercise and physical activity have a positive impact, impact on your blood pressure. When healthy habits are practiced, blood pressure can be controlled and sometimes even without medication. This is additional information that we're giving as part of the packets. Uh, it'll give you different information on recording uh, your blood pressure. There's extra uh, pages for the patients to use. You'll also be receiving posters that have been presented to the, so that the patients can see uh, what needs to be done. It's an actual physical uh, poster that you'll be able to see and comes in English and in Spanish. We cannot emphasize the importance of following this protocol. This is additional um, tracking that we're gonna be using. And it's also think about this. This is something that the patient can bring to the doctor as well. It's a record of their own blood pressure, story of their health. On this slide, you'll see uh, presentations that are available in English and in Spanish. Um, perhaps you may wanna have it uh, put up in your, in your uh, library or in your facility so that it can be dis displayed where a patron can be able to play it at that point. This is just an example of what one of our clinics has provided for us. It's the importance of a clinical follow-up. Um, for all of you who are participating in this initiative, 
partnerships and collaborations with healthcare organizations have been established. Community health workers um, for, from these organizations and or healthcare students from local higher education institutions will be working alongside with you, providing e education to your community participants. And lastly, this is the inventory sheets for the devices. I'm sure that each of your facilities will organize this initiative that best suits your needs. Managing your devices, keep loaded devices in circulation and working order with an inventory. Uh, you'll be able to track loaned devices and there'll be uh, information on how to clean devices. Thank you so much for your participation in this important initiative. You are empowering people to engage in their health. You're helping the American Heart Association meet people where they are, providing them with important information about their health and how they will share that with their loved ones.